guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here what's up my name is lisa definitely make sure you subscribe today i am creating this bella hadid inspired makeup look it's like a super fresh face natural kind of look i think i saw this in like pinterest and i thought it was really pretty and i wanted to recreate it so that's what i did today it's a lot of blush which i usually don't wear and like rosy loves which i also never wear but i really like how it turned out so if you want to see how i created this then just keep on watching i think i'm just gonna start out with my base i like doing my base before my brows so i'm just gonna start out with that I definitely think she's wearing foundation, but it all looks very natural. So what I'm going to do is first start off with the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I'm gonna put this all over my face to get that like healthy glow. So that just kind of gave me that like natural healthy glow. And then I think I'm gonna go in with the NYX Bear With Me. It's kind of like a tinted moisturizer. Um, it doesn't have much coverage, but it does kind of even out your skin tone. So I'm going to just put that all over my face to kind of give me an even color. And I hope it still matches me because I got a bit of a tan, but I think it does. And I'm just using a wet beauty blender. As you can see, that doesn't add too much coverage, but it just kind of evens out your skin tone. And then I want to go in and spot conceal with the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. I'm basically just putting this everywhere that I feel like I want to have a bit more coverage. So it might be a bit on like your cheeks, wherever you have some like scarring or any blemishes. You basically just want to create like a super flawless but very natural looking base. You want to use like light coverage products for that so that you don't get that like cakey look. But you also want to make sure it covers enough if that makes any sense. She is very highlighted underneath her eyes. So I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Medium Tan Neutral and stop this underneath my eyes where else she's also highlighted on her forehead so i'm gonna do a bit over there and then i'm taking my born this way concealer which is a lot lighter and i'm also going to dot that in the same areas and also kind of taking it up here you guys know she has like that cat eye look so i'm gonna try to achieve that with my makeup as well just blending this in and i'm like taking the concealer outwards to create that like a lifted look. I'm also just taking this a bit on the inner corner and then blending that out. You see how that like completely lifted my face? See the difference between those two eyes? There's a huge difference. So she also has a lot of blush on and I wanted to go in with a cream blush to really get that same effect. So I'm just going to use this one from Maybelline. It's a Dream Matte Blush and I'm not sure what the color is, but I've never tried to apply it like this, but I'm just going to give it a try with a beauty blender to really pounce it into the skin because it looks like it's just kind of, it doesn't look like a powder blush if that makes any sense. And I feel like using a sponge would be the best way to blend this in. Then obviously once we've like contoured and stuff, it's going to all come together. But also just bringing it onto my nose bridge a bit gives it that um, natural effect. So now that we kind of have the base done or like the cream part of the base, I'm going to do my brows because I look a little insane right now. So my go-to brow product is the Anastasia Brow Powder. Mine's in Ebony. And I usually use a dark color, but I think I'm going to try to mix them a little bit so that they don't get as dark this time. Sorry if I keep zooming you in and out. I'm trying to get the right angle. Um, first, she's going to brush them up. Again, she has very, like, everything's very lifted. So I'm going to try to do the same thing with my brows and really, like, kind of bring them upwards, which luckily mine are already kind of like that. So it helps and I don't have to do too much. And I'm just going to... Try to not make them too dark, but can't promise anything. And when I'm like filling them in, I try to do upward strokes so that I have that like lifted effect. Hope that makes any sense. I have this like brow pencil, it's a brow blade from Urban Decay. I'm just gonna also give that a try to kind of create oh my god, the lifted effect. <laughs> I'm using the same concealer I used to do some spot concealing, which was the next one. 
and I'm gonna use that to carve out my brows because hers are very like very much carved out like very sleek it's a pretty lifted brow in my opinion right try to make it thinner as well just gonna speed up and do the other brow Before I go in and powder, I want to actually use a cream highlighter. Using the Becca, what's it called? Ignite Liquid Highlighter in Creativity. Um, it looks like this. I actually received it today in PR. And I just want to, oh, that's a lot. Let me just pick it up with the Pink Beauty Blender. Oh my god. Might be too much, but we're just going to blend that. In, if it wants to blend <laughs> okay it definitely works better using your fingers see how that just gives me that like supernatural glow I need to go ahead and set my face so I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder this is my favorite to do so and first just going to set any creases and then go in and set the under eyes she's very highlighted so I'm gonna do a little bit of baking because she seems to just like have a lot going on underneath her eyes. She's very bronze. I'm probably gonna put on even more blush because I feel like that kind of disappeared. So I'm first just going to do some contouring with the Makeup Geek Tawny Bronzer. I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate dark chocolate so I bronzer and putting that a bit higher up and this really like that blush just fully comes out once you do that which is very funny I thought uh, it disappeared but it actually didn't I don't think she does this but my way of contouring my nose is adding bronzer to my nose so I'm just gonna do that seems like she just kind of contoured her nose and that's about it as for the eyes, she seems to have a little bit of a um, wing, but not very noticeable. And then she has some like dark shading over here. It kind of goes like that. So I'm going to try to mimic it. I thought this Warm Neutrals palette, Warm Neutrals 2 from Sigma would be good. I'm going to start out with this shade because I don't want it to be too dark. All my brushes are dirty, so I'm just going to try to wipe some clean. But it seems like she just kind of like contoured her like her eyelid to look more hollow and kind of outward like that the best I can describe it that's great my light just died I'll mix these two use like the tiniest bit of the darker color I, I want you to barely see it but let me try to do this it's already actually too noticeable it's also a very thin let me make mine too thick i'm just gonna go in with that same brush i used to carve out my brows and i feel like it also is on her lid a little so i'm just going to take it i hope my face is not out of focus let me try to do the same thing over here. I feel like I need a bit more blush, so I'm going to use this blush in this Becca palette and just add a little bit more. Okay, let me just quickly set my brows and then I'm also going to just set my face. Obviously for this, you could just use whatever works for your skin. I like using the NYX Matte and the Radiant Finish Spray. I first do the matte and then I do the Radiant. I don't know why, it just makes my face look really good. Like the Radiant one gives me that glow, but then the matte one makes sure like really lock in everything. So she doesn't have very noticeable freckles or anything, but I'm just going to add it because I like the look of it. So I'm just going to add some like right by my nose very i'm gonna try to keep them small freck is like the best product to use for faux freckles it's genius 
I'm also just adding the beauty spots that I always add to my makeup. Without it, I just feel weird. So you don't have to do this, but I like to do it. Then she has some mascara on. Doesn't look like she has much on. Um, but yeah, I think she also has her inner corner highlighted a bit. So I'm just gonna take, let me take this color, mix these two. I'm gonna add some mascara. She had, doesn't have a whole lot on, but I'm just gonna do whatever I like. Also doesn't seem like she has much bottom lash mascara on. Let me first do my top lashes and see if I want to skip bottom. Usually I feel empty without it, but I definitely need to have bottom. Maybelline Colossal is so good. Kind of looks like she has like kind of rosy brown lips. So I'm using the Becca Ultimate Lip Definer in Blissful. It's kind of like a rosy shade. I was thinking of mixing it with a more brown because I feel like this is going to be too light. But I'm going to start off with this one. And then I'm taking MAC Lip Liner in Cork. This is like my favorite. And I'm kind of mixing the two. Anastasia Lip Matte Lipstick in Kiss. light I just dabbed on the YSL lipstick and I don't know 105? I have no idea just like a pink red that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and of course subscribe also turn on my post notifications so that you'll be notified every time i upload a video i will leave all the names and like links and shades and everything to the makeup that i used down below um so if you need to know anything or you want to like shop something right away you can do that down there i will also leave my instagram on the screen and down below make sure to go check me out if you want to see daily content of me thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video Thank you.